everyone, Alessandra here, and so tonight we are doing a Q&A, <laughs> I get it, um, so last time we did a uh, live stream, uh, what happened is we had some audio problems, and so it didn't work out very well, we were going to do our Q&A then, but we, since we had the audio problems, we decided to do it now, so. Yeah, so, actually that was a great intro, um, we're going to keep the stream up uh, here on the little picture in picture. If Altera okay. makes a return. I got it right this time, people. It's right here. <laughs> and last time I was like, it's here. If Altera makes a return, um, what we'll do is we'll, we'll swap the photo, swap the, uh, the images, and we'll continue to have our conversation. But we don't want people to miss the exciting things. Yeah. Exactly. Altera returning. Mr. Tiger hopefully making a visit. Yeah. Making a, a food run. Um, so on and so forth. Right? Right. So another thing I'd like to do, because we didn't get a chance to do it last time, is take some questions from our chatters. Yes. Right? So um, we have chat happening on Ustream, which is pretty much, uh, the, the, well, by far the more active chat um, of the two streams that we do. And then we have Facebook Live, um, which is a little more tedious to try to keep up with because it's just people commenting, mm -hmm. but kind of have to pay attention to that over the video. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to do my best to try to check in there and get yeah. you a couple good questions, but I'm not, I can't promise that that's going to happen. Yeah, but, of course. Um, and of course, obviously with, you know, um, upwards of, well over a thousand viewers. Yeah. Um, it's we'll going to be tough to get to, to everybody's questions. But yeah. I'll take some of the ones. Here's, here's the thing. Mm -hmm. So we have this amazing staff of chat, uh, chat moderators, right? Mm -hmm. Who know a lot about owls. And yeah. so a lot of those factual questions that people have curiosities about owls, like, we're going we're gonna to let those be answered either by mods or, by mods Wiki or Wikipedia. Or, oh. you know, Mr. Google. That's a great resource mm -hmm. from time to time, even though you're not allowed to use it in your, your school research much, much. Yeah. But what I'm saying is I want <laughs> I want to entertain questions that only Alessandra can answer. Mm -hmm. Things that people kind of want to know about what you think about this, or what is it that something people can't necessarily see from behind the cameras mm -hmm. that maybe only you, you can answer. So those are the kinds of questions we're looking for. So um, <coughs> we have uh, some of our moderators who will be sending daddy to me. The questions directly, and uh, I'll get to them. But I have a couple co topics I want to yeah. I want to talk about. So, not last Christmas, but Christmas before last, you made. Uh, this is in between. This is after season four. Mm -hmm. You made a special post on Christmas Day about a nest of a different sort. Didn't have anything to do with owls, but we made a post on the owl change about yeah. the click nest. What was um, that? What was that? Because people kind of want to know a little bit about yeah. Alessandra and your family and. So here's our personal moment here. So, so what uh, what was that post about? That post was uh, about my little baby brother Xavier. He's he's adorable. He asked for that. So you were announcing that yes, we were we expecting are. a new little member to our family. Mm -hmm. Our little Alex. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely louder than. <laughs> well, louder. He, but he's got the hooting sound now. He, yeah. He my dad he'll hoot. He'll make the hooting noise and then he'll like Xavier will make like this little hooting noise from his throat and it's like it's really funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what was interesting is that I was walking him home from Nimby and Poppy's house mm -hmm. the other night, and because I had make a, made the, been making the hooting sound to him over the last couple of days, mm -hmm. when we walked out, I'm carrying him, right? Mm -hmm. And Mr. Tiger is up on the roof across the street, yeah. and he hoots. And Xavier, like, turns his head really quickly and starts laughing. <laughs> like, he <knows. laughs> Because it's like he recognized it as familiar, and I don't know that he necessarily was like, oh, there's an owl, because, mm -hmm. I mean, what is he, 10 months? But, yeah. but he, like, giggled because... Oh, that's the sound Daddy makes. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I wonder if uh, I wonder what he thinks. We'll have to yeah, ask him. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, so yeah. So we have a new little member of the family, yes. Xavier. So you're like the oldest yes, of three of now. Two. We can actually technically call I'm you the oldest, oldest of, yeah. because you can't be the oldest of two. You can only be the oldest the of two oldest or more. Right? Or three I'll, I'll be like, I want the biggest cinnamon roll with two, and I'll be like, trigger. <laughs> trigger. <laughs> All right. So a couple things I want to cover, and then we'll get to some questions from. Um, from the audience. Um, obviously, <coughs> cash block is a big deal. Yes. It was a success. We had two eggs. Mm -hmm. um, and and they're, they're even though I think there. most people, even though most people understood or could understand or they saw the post later, mm -hmm. what, talk about the names real quick. Um, the names of the, the oldest, the first one is Primo, and the second is Segundo, which first and second in Latin, which you think that Latin theme as um, Altera, uh, uh, Mr. Tiger's mate is Latin for alternative or second, and so primo segunda, first and second, out it for Altera. 
Yeah, so we had the Hack Watch contest, which mm -hmm. we announced the winners of, of that last time. Uh, Peggy Bryan was the winner of the E5.5, or the Primo Cash Guest. First one. Carol Nugent won the 5.6, or the Secunda mm -hmm. uh, out, uh, painting, which, so by good. the way, Get right behind us here. Mary Monson, she's awesome. Yes. She's amazing. Pause Mary Mayer on chat. Yes. Um, she is our our local artist here who does uh, portraits of, of animals. She'll do she'll do commission yeah. portraits of, of people's pets. Follow, follow her on Pinterest. I have an entire board with like all her paintings. She's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so she's done these behind us here. She's an amazing artist. Uh, we're, we're thankful to have her on board as, as one of our original moderators, but who now sort of uh, helps us behind the scenes and, and provides uh, great paintings like this for our Hatchwalk co contest. And uh, so we're looking forward to seeing the results of, of that effort. Um, so we have a couple additions to the Alcam um, yeah. interface, if you will. Yes. So lots of information. People are always wanting to know certain information, right? Mm -hmm. I see this. It's the, oh, I did it. It's mm -hmm. down here. So oh, in chat, cool. there are some regular questions people ask, right? Mm -hmm. So we've tried to address, not that, not that those questions are a problem, but if we see that if there's a regular question or a common question asked that we can provide data for, we usually just try to put it in the paper. We try to provide it, right? So couple updates we've made recently. We mm -hmm. have, um, if you look, Alessandra, why don't you point them out That's like a weather it. lady right, right here. here. I'm trying, guys. I'm this right here. So we have like the last feeding time. So the moderators, anytime yeah. the outlets are fed, the moderators log into a special web page and update the time so that people can mm -hmm. you know, know in a yeah, moment when have, the last time they're fed. We have like last time uh, Miss Kiki was here, last time Altera went on fly it out to yeah. stretch her glorious wings. Yes. <laughs> and then, which has been the topic of much discussion, we have this new meter, yes. right? It's an indicator, and there's even debate about whether it's called a radometer or, or a radometer. A radometer. I think it should be radometer, guys. Alessandra has spoken. It's radometer, because <laughs> um, that sounds more smarky. I think. Okay. That's uh, a great so, smarky. So we have, so we have little, just a little indicator of, you know, how many rats are in a net or mice or birds or. Well, so the image used are rats, right? Yeah. But yeah. it's not indicative necessarily of the type of animal that might be in the, in yes. the nest or the pantry, as you call it. it so a lot of people have asked, well, okay, so what does it mean when they're red or they're pink or when they're like white or it, when they're green? If it's just red, then that means the pantry or, you know, the, the uh, nest food-wise is either extremely low for, like, a tiny bit or completely empty. And then pink means, you know, it's a little better. Um, there might probably one or two, and then white, in the white area, it means they're pretty good on food. So as the pantry becomes more full, as Mr. Tiger brings more food, they become more white, um, just to kind of level out the indicator. Mm -hmm. And then as, as, the, as the pantry is like really well stocked, as we'll see, it, it does, it kind of comes and goes mm -hmm. based on weather conditions and how good the hunting is for them, and yes. um, various things that we've noticed over the years, that when it's full, it's going to like have a green rat at yes. the top, that means like it's just it's totally stocked, yeah. right? But the other thing, too, that people need to be aware of is that, um, you know, there are conditions where hunting isn't always yes. optimal. When it's really windy, it's tough for them to see, you know. Um, like, like, imagine flying a kite on, like, during a tornado, let's say. The tornado's right next to the kite, and you can't do it. That's them trying to fly, and they're trying to hunt in windy conditions, well, basically. They are kites. Interesting analogy, but what I was going to get at is that, like, so they're watching the fields... Uh, yes. the golf course or, or the lands around us and you know the quintessential waving wheat of Oklahoma mm -hmm. um, when it's windy things are moving and mm -hmm. they rely heavily on, on that movement mm -hmm. that keen eyesight and yes. so if if it's a still night they can spot movement pretty easily yes. among among you know the weeds and things but if it's really windy all they see is motion so it's mm -hmm. a little tougher to, to so hunt and the, the, yeah so the pantry might get low don't worry they're going to cover it and people tend to kind of freak out when they see yes. the one red rat mm -hmm. because the pantry is low. And again, it's nature. Yes. We've yes. seen this succeed numerous times. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think these guys have been succeeding, not particularly Altera and, and the tiger family, but owls in general probably mm -hmm. predate humans. So they, I think they know what they're doing. Yes. Do you? Yeah, of yeah. course. Like, if, if it's low, I guarantee you they will... They, the owls member will make sure that their babies are fed. Yeah. Well, most likely they'll their babies fed before they are. So, so speaking of the rat, uh, the ratometer, um, we have what we kind of have commonly referred to as a Reggie situation <laughs> underway. 
So Reggie the legend. Let's let's talk first of all first of all let's talk who is Reggie? Reggie is a rat. Was. Was a rat. [laughs] Was. Yes. Uh oh. So, season four. And he had a little rat on the on the um ledge right here. I'm pointing at it. Uh and he was a shaman. Well, okay, no this the story is is that Mrs. Tigard didn't realize he was there. Mhm. Okay. And then he And so for days and days this rat just stayed there and we the viewers could see Reggie as he lovingly became known among the chatters. Just sitting there. Oh, pretending. Reggie the legend. Reggie the legend rat. Cuz he's on the ledge. And so um Yeah, Reggie got pretty ripe. And um he became famous, I mean he was like one of the many sub characters of this whole wacky plot. Yeah. Oh. You know, Casey Affleck And now, we think we might have another situation where there's a rat on the ledge just under the edge of the pot that Mr. T delivered and Altera Just kinda dropped it there. doesn't seem to remember that it's there and if you look closely you can see you can see it. You can see it, I'll I'll go back to the wide Right there. the wide shot And you see him sitting there with his little tail, he he's sleeping kids. He's sli- he's Yeah. [laughs] Yeah, for for the younger age ones, right? Yeah, you're you're yeah, yeah. Sleep tight. So um but that does that does get to a question I've 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 heard. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there for now. In case there's more questions. So, you you know started this whole thing as a tiny little girl. And what I remember what I laughed about most perhaps um was how worried your mom and I were about whenever the feeding began, like, are you gonna be grossed out? Or you know, can she take this or should we shield her eyes from it? And you thought it was the coolest thing you'd ever seen. This is [inaudible 0:48:52.50] [laughs] Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah I remember this. [laughs] I mean, but for for a little girl, you could stomach it. Exactly. I mean for any little kid for that matter. Had something to do with the fact that you were a little girl. But I'm just curious, what is your favorite animal to see brought to the nest? Um Like, I for one love None like none now like would I relish the fact that a rabbit has been brought to the nest because you know, I work in the flower beds. Uh you know me, I I love making the house look good. Litter talk? Litter talk? [laughs] My pansies are gone. Because you would think that we would have no rabbits around here, but it's like the owls don't hunt here. Oh, I have one. I have one. Okay, so I think my favorite is just starlings because Yeah, because last year there was a major attack on owls. What was it? Okay uh anyways so the starlings attacked the nest and then like that night or like two nights later Mr. Tiger came with a dead starling like ha ha Like a life. [laughs] Pretty much. Oh my god. That's awesome. Um but Wait, so I'm getting starling [inaudible 0:49:28.56] It's okay. [laughs] Uh okay. [laughs] Okay, so yeah. Starlings basically cuz, yeah, they Cuz I've got that one. Yeah. Okay, so we have a question from a chatter. Yeah. This is from Lumpy Bear. And Lumpy Bear, I'll read it to you. Okay. Um it says "Um do you find bits and pieces of rabbits, rat tails and et cetera, down on the ground below the nest?" [laughs] No, no, I actually don't. They uh they eat the they eat the entire thing. Um They're pretty thorough. Yeah, but but at the end of the day Except for veggies and meat. And we didn't follow up with that. So, we have this new one. Someone suggested that we should call this one Regina. I think it's brilliant. Yes. Yeah, whoever came up with that idea? Bless you. Yeah. Yeah. It w- Regina that that was the brainchild. Regina the legina. But, okay, so back to the chatter question. [laughs] Regina. So, do you you don't find parts, what do you find below the nest from time to time? Like, my favorite place is just under here. Oh, yeah? Mm. Um, pellets. Yeah? Okay. And [noise] Some very flavorful pellets. Feathers? Feathers. [laughs] Yeah, a lot of feathers. We have um I tried to explain, but so here's the nest. Imagine to the left of the nest way down we have bushes that are really thick. They have a bunch of sticks and it's just like complete feather catcher. Is that bushes? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, and like, yeah. And it's a hedge. Yeah, well, and it looks like it's snow-capped by the end of the season, too. [noise] [laughs] Yep. So, all right. So let's see, um we'll take more questions if you have them. Let's see, uh, okay, so Wenny Woot wants to know do you think Altera do you th- Wenny Woot says "do you think Altera is more uptight than Mrs. T was in rearranging her pantry and feeding habits?" I wanna comment on this because I really appreciate this aspect of her personality. Definitely. Well Definitely. [laughs] As a fellow type A, I can relate to her. Yeah, she uh I was at Mindy's the other uh dinner that we went to cook as you all know, her own chat. And we were watching Outstanding and she like arranged her pantry and I was like "Hmm, oh, okay." Oh cuz she's new to it? She's new to it, yeah. Oh yeah. So yeah, I think she's definitely a lot more like There's not a word for it. She's a lot more neat, of course, arranging her her snacks and uh she's yeah. Um Super neat. Uh yeah, she's pretty cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's [inaudible 0:51:01.77] Well, what do you, what is the biggest difference you observe between 
In my I'll opinion, in, this in my opinion, I think her looks like her eyes are a lot more yellow than I totally um, agree with that. Uh, Miss Tiger was. Like if you when she comes back, if you look at her eyes, they're like neon yellow, and uh, and she's a lot more colorful, I think. And um, bigger. She's yeah, she's way bigger than uh, not way way bigger, but she's bigger than Miss uh, Mrs. Tiger was. But noticeably bigger. Yes. Yeah. And so yeah, her looks. I mean, is uh, pretty different. The question also, she started off with uptight. I would say that we've observed, oh, especially yeah. your mom and me have observed that um, I think she's a little more fierce. Little, she's, yeah. Now, Mrs. Yeah. Tiger, granted, had gotten to know us over several seasons. Definitely, right. And so she yeah. knew us. I mean, you could tell that she was comfortable with us. Mm -hmm. She knew our voices. Um, she didn't uh, s scare as easily. Yeah. But um, um, this one. Altera's yeah. a little less familiar yeah. with us. She's, so she's, yeah. she's a little more skittish. That's what Mrs. Tiger was at first, too. But. Uh, She's she's a lot more skittish. Uh, like me and Javon were walking home from Mindy's and we we were just talking, you know, normal voice. And uh, when we came back inside, uh, mom and dad were like, we heard voices and she was off. So I think she's a lot more skittish. Um, but of course, she'll probably get better with that. She'll probably get used to it. Oh, these humans! I know it bothers me. Sorry, I'm just she's not letting you pet her yet. Not yet. <laughs> we're working on that. Right, right. That's a joke. No. That's a total joke. Yeah, we're, no, we're, we're not handling them. That's only, no, we're not. Okay, um, so. I have $20. This oh. one's, this one's from Yay Kelly. Uh, do you have any idea where Mr. and Altera's food cache is located? So, like, kind of off-site food uh, storage? Uh, okay. Yeah. Food storage or, like, where they kept it? Food uh, no, storage? food, because they'll have a second place where they'll, the, he'll, like, stockpile it if she needs really? to go get some. Yeah. That's smart. Can I do that? Can I do that with chocolate? I thought you had food under your pillow. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the answer no, is no. Now we we, don't. we see them often fly a little east. Yeah, um, Mars so is yeah, so uh, there's there's a main road um, uh, called May Avenue yeah. across the street, and so there are, it's kind of a tree lined uh, green space it's where there's cool. quite a few trees, and I. I think maybe it's, it's going to be somewhere, somewhere over there. Probably just stick them over there. Um, oh, there's a hole here. Yeah. Oh, there's a hole here. Bird. So, <laughs> Savano wants to know, do you guys do anything to educate the golf course or your neighborhood to not use any poisons on roads? Mm, yeah, he, well, okay, so. Any, any opportunity we have to have the discussion, we can't, we do. Can we just miss Tiger? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so when, um, <coughs> so when Mrs. Tiger, we, uh, shortly after we found her, we, before we got the, uh, what's it called, the animal aut aut autopsy? The necropsy. The necropsy, that's what it is. And, uh, we, before we got that, we assumed that she, uh, she died of rat poisoning. At, like, as, you know, a rat goes into the cell or mouse, goes into someone's garage, uh, you know, think, see, because you can set out rat poisoning to the, kill like the rat. Like the little blue blocks yeah, or the little blue that. pellets. And then this, we, we assume Mrs. Tiger, she saw a, a mouse and that mouse and ate it, which still had poison in it, which, you know, uh, we thought that was what uh, killed her. And, but, so we were going to, do, uh, I don't know if we did it or we were going to do a post on maybe the neighborhood Facebook page about awareness of, yes, Mice are annoying, and yes, we know you want them dead, but please don't use rat poisoning as we have some great, great horned owls um, in our neighborhood. So, and we know we have more than definitely one, we have more than one yeah. yes. So, another th interesting thing about that, too, that I don't think people really consider is that if, if they're poisoning rats and mice, rodents with this poison that mm -hmm. then kills the owls, yes. who help them control the population. They're really yeah. only multiplying the population because they're eliminating the, the animals owls. that eliminate. Yeah, it's kind of like a little cycle. Yeah. So the, exactly. Like the owls eat, like the owls eat rabbits and mice and everything. Because every time, every season, we know this. The owls are here. Rabbits are the the rabbit population goes way down. And then the owls leave. They they fledge and rabbits just spring up. Like oh, they're here. More rabbits. Yeah. So yeah. So, um, they help the population, don't use rat poisoning. Next question, H Boyd 73 wants to know, how much time a day do you guys have to spend checking on the nest observations? I would say that kind of varies. Um, like how much you, you watch? Like how much time during the day, so. Well, I, you will, You uh, answer first and I'll, I'll go after you. What I'll do is when I'm, when I'm doing schoolwork, you know, typing stuff, I'll have the Alcane just kind of off to the side, just, you know, behind my little 
pages by like on us. Most computers. Yeah, on the, yeah, on the computer. We'll have them on our TV. We'll uh, connect to Ustream on there. We'll just be watching, you know, throughout dinner, throughout the day, really. So it, it varies. Like, we don't have, like, schedule. All right, 10 o'clock, this is 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. We'll watch this. That's kind of what it is, though. Um, yeah. But, yeah, we, it, it varies. You know, we'll just have it on in the stream. For me, it's <laughs> more about making sure that the stream stays active and live. Yeah. Um, and so I would say that I, I don't measure the time, but it's pretty constant. Like if I'm at the office, I have a, I have a you know a flat panel on my office wall yeah. that I'll have it up on so that if it goes down, I know to log in and fix it. Because yeah. I can re log in, log in r remotely anywhere and, and pretty much run the camera as if I was here. Yeah. Um, and if I'm out and about, or if Mom and I are on a date, you know, we'll, we'll check in on it from time to time just to make sure things are cool and um, yeah. from our phones and, and whatnot. I will say this though. So we one of the things that we've we've added this year is the Facebook live stream, which mm -hmm. is cool that we're able to do both. Um, the last couple days, Facebook live has been kind of in a rage. I mean, like, I mean, I can look right here and have a lot of data about the, you know, information about the data being sent to Facebook. Yeah. And this thing has stayed rock solid in its connection, but for some reason, Facebook has not been showing that the feed is live, and I know yeah. it's gotten up to several people. And Sorry if you're... We apologize for that, but there's nothing on our end we can do. I mean, we're kind of limited. We just send it, and sometimes it's it's, sometimes uh, the service receives it and does what it's supposed to, and sometimes it doesn't. But hopefully yeah. they're watching tonight and enjoying. Um, so there's a question. Um, all right, let's let's deal with this one. Um, the question is... Oh, we didn't uh, I, I can't... Hey, we didn't do a warrant. Yeah, I know, but um, I can't quite make out who's what the name is of this person. But the question is, Alessandra, was the shooter ever caught? Um, so let's let's talk about that topic in general, but also answer the question a little bit. No. Okay. Um. No. No. They were never like caught. Like, oh, sorry, you're under arrest. Hmm. Sorry. Yeah. No, we never actually caught him. It's not like you can search people's houses um, to try and like, oh, oh, do you have a car gun? Arrest him. Um, but, yeah, so we, no, we never caught people who did it. We understand that the Oklahoma Game Warden <coughs> did, we did it everything they could. Did um, make an attempt to, to canvas, and uh, we know the general area where it happened. Um, if he did know, it. Yeah, it, well, so, but that's a tough, so that's a tough topic also, mm -hmm. because, you know, I know, I know how much it affected you. Yeah. I remember telling you and how devastated you were. I remember, I mean, you endured doing a television interview. Um, you know, where you were very vulnerable and, and you were very honest about how it made you feel, and you, you, let alone Mrs. Tiger, mm -hmm. you haven't had justice about this, right? Mm -hmm. You haven't had a sense of, you know, all is right in the world, that the, that wrongs are righted somehow through justice. And so I know that this is kind of a wound within you and something that, you know, you may never fully be able to just say, yes, I'm glad that was dealt with. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about that. Um, well, I mean, yeah, I was, I was mad and I was sad and all the emotions and like, I mean, I, I, I was really mad because it was like, why? I mean, I understand like, if, 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 if she was annoying you, like you're trying to sleep because it, it happened at night. If she was annoying you, you were trying to sleep, put earplugs in. Like, you don't have to, you don't have to shoot her. To solve problems, violence is not the answer. Don't, like, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, I'm not saying, like, I don't want to, like, ruin someone's life by, like, oh, you shot this out, you're going to jail for life, or we're taking all your money, but I, I was still, like, I mean, I don't want to sound like some heartless mean creature, but I was kind of hoping we'd for sure find out who it was, because they have to pay some price, but not, like, your entire life ruined, but I just, yeah. So, with that being said, you know, we we've been running the story about Mrs. Tiger, and then of course the good news story about Mr. Tiger yeah. finding a new mate. We've been running that here and there on, on the stream, and we've had mixed reviews about whether or not we should be doing that. Yeah. We have some people who are like, many people who are like, wow, I didn't realize that this wasn't the original Definitely, mother. Yeah. Had no idea, really glad that we were able to learn kind of the history of this. Mm -hmm. um, then we've had some, some backlash yeah. of people why are you still doing this, you know? Why are you still running this? It makes us cry. Well, I mean. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about because you okay. and I had a conversation about this yeah. and about whether or not you thought we should still run the story. And I'd love to hear, I mean, you explained it really well to me the yeah. other night, so I, I would love um, for others to hear what your thoughts are. Okay, so I understand that, you know, like, I understand there's some people who are going to, uh, the 
see the story that we we also run the story about two times a day. Yeah, you do. About two times a day of the news story of you know Miss uh, Miss Tiger being shot and killed. Um, and I understand that some people have said they just get too emotional about that and that we should stop playing the story altogether. Well, I feel like that that would that wouldn't really be unfair to Miss Tiger because like. And, of course, as Dad said, there have been people that have, like, panned us and been like, wow, I thought this was still Miss Tiger. I didn't know this was a new one. You know, I'm glad I know this information. So, um, if we're going to keep running the story, but not as much. We're going to probably do about once a day. And we're also going to have, you know, a, uh, um, probably, we're going to have, like, a page, probably, an info, an info page of, you know, like, what happened. Um, but we're still going to keep running the story because if we didn't, that I... I would feel like that would be unfair to Miss Tiger, as we need her to be remembered. We can't just move on and be like, oh, her? Who, who is she? But, like, so we're going to keep running the story, and I'm sorry, but if it affects you, then you can put it on mute or not watch it. Um, but we are going to keep running the story about once a day, because it's always fair to Miss Tiger. I, I support your decision. I think that's bold, and, and uh, I like I like that she's willing to do that. Um, she's the one who started this whole thing, really. Yeah, yeah. of course. Yeah, yeah like... I'm pretty sure she was the first one I saw, a little five-year-old me, um, over my window seat, that was Mrs. Tiger. So I feel like I can't just, I, for me, I can't just forget all about her. Even though we have a new maid, I just, I, I, I want to keep running the story because I don't want her to be forgotten either. Especially with new people coming in, like, I mean. Well, we have, we're averaging twice the, twice the viewership yeah. we were in season four, which is a record year. Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of, half the people watching don't know, don't know the history. Exactly. So. All right. So a couple more. Let's, let's get to some maybe some fun questions. Um, <laughs> oh, here's a, okay. So here's a good question we can answer like with some inside information. Chippity wants to know how many other owl pairs do you know in the neighborhood, and do you think you do you think any of them are offspring? Ooh, that's a nice question. So there is some real irony. Mm-hmm. In the answer to this question, so, what, so I'll, I'll let you answer it. Then. So I'll my fill in. Uh, so my dad's his business partner Craig Bummel, if you're watching, you're all, you're awesome. So at their house, they also live in this neighborhood. Um, about how far would you say? From about us? a half mile from half us. Half mile from us. Um, and they actually recently discovered a pair of owls that's been hanging around their house, and they have made a nest in one of their planter boxes, as we have ours. Second story planter box, very similar to ours. Yes. Um, and they laid eggs, and um, both of them hatched. Both of them hatched. So we have some, we have another pair there. We don't know. I mean, they're most likely related to the tiger family. So, uh, but yeah, we do have another pair. Not more owlet. So owls galore. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Um, do Mr. T? This is from Jane Robbins Swinson. Do Mr. T and Altera talk? Talk to you. I have an owl on my property that sits above me and makes grumbly noises for hours, and I talk back. He's very talkative. Okay, so what that's actually kind of funny because when um, I think maybe the first three seasons, I hear them and I hoot back a little me. I just get hoo hoo. I hoot back and they would respond. But I used to do that a lot. Um, but actually, we kind of stopped doing that because uh, I think it was last season or season before that. I actually can't remember. That they were sitting on the uh, uh, Miss Tiger. This is Miss Tiger sitting on the nest. We heard another owl that none of us recognized because you know once you watch the owl cam for a while, you recognize oh that's Mr. Tiger, that is Altera or Miss Tiger. Um, we actually heard another owl and they got really uh, they 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 completely went on defense. Like M- Miss Tiger left the nest and we were sitting there chasing off that owl. So personally, I don't want to be dive bombed, so I kind of stopped hooting to them, but um. Also saying they hoot at night, every night they hoot. Um, but also, but when, once you live with it every night, it kind of gets calming. So I'll just be laying there in bed trying to go to sleep, and I'll hear the owls and be like, "Oh, there's the owls." So it's kind of calming. Yeah, I, I I would agree with you. They definitely mm-hmm. have hooted back in times that yeah. we used to do that. So, but we've learned since then. So, um, me owl. Let's see, Birder had a question, and I'm trying to find which one that is. Rhoda, if you can resend that to me, I will do. I will hit that question. Oh, by the way, thanks, Rhoda, for like sending the question. Yeah. You're awesome. All you mods are awesome. All you chatters are awesome. I love you. 
Yeah, I, I don't see Berger's question here. Oh, wait, here it is, yes, it is. Um, so, Alice, uh, Berger 16 wants to know, Alessandra, you once were thinking of going into science. Are you still? It is, mm. is this why you are taking Latin, just in case? Going into science? Like what? Like going into sci like a scientific field, like as a career. Are you oh. thinking about doing something scientific? Eh, uh, not really anymore. I'm not thinking about doing that. This is news to me. Yeah, because oh, I, well, yeah, I wanted to like study, study the birds, and, but yeah, not really anymore. So like, if you were to choose your college major right now, what would you do? Yeah, I don't know much about college majors. Can Which I? is fine, you're 11. Soon to be 12, you're in, a, in like, what, 48 Today. hours? Yeah, I was going to bring that up, and I just, I just reminded myself. Yeah. So, Alessandro turns big 12 on Friday. Yeah, this little preteen. It's gonna be so fun. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> that voice. <laughs> I just said it's gonna be so fun. Yeah, so well, <clears throat> I want you to know how proud I am of you and how smart I think you are, and I, I really appreciate you taking the time to to uh, talk with with uh, people who watch this because it's important, um, you know, that that we kind of share the story, and yeah. I think you do a great job of it. You're our little ambassador, and I'm, I'm just mm -hmm. really proud of you as your dad. So I think we ought to do this again. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. We like rack up some questions in your smart brains as well. We uh, write them down, have a notebook full of them. Ask them to question, 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 yeah. and we'll answer them. We'll yeah. answer those right. things. But yeah, this this was fun. So I think we'll definitely do it again. Yeah. So we're about thirty-two minutes into this whole thing. Um, still waiting you on. You were actually uh, right. Thirty-two yeah. to thirty to eight. Yeah. So waiting on Miss Altera to, to return. Now bear in mind it's it's nice and warm outside. Mm -hmm. People get really concerned when she's gone oh, for yeah. a long time. Yeah, in the winter I understand that, but it's like how it is fifty seven point mm -hmm. two degrees Fahrenheit. Well, and the it's other thing too is that as fun. they get darker, that means their pen feathers are growing and they're able yeah. to better thermoregulate, which exactly. means they don't necessarily need to be kept warm mm -hmm. as much. And especially you know, with the temperature like it is, they're able they're just fine. They they don't seem to be I mean they're sleeping. They well, probably don't even realize what they're gonna do about Regina. I don't know what we're going to do about Regina. We're not going to do anything because we don't affect the nest, you know. But, no, um, no, we don't affect the nest. We're not going to build so a house around there, even if they get cold. I think that will be a topic of, of much chat over the coming days as to yeah. what happens to Regina. God rest her soul, <laughs> if she had one. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, let's let's just kind of go back to the stream and, and hope that Altera returns soon and that Mr. Tiger is in action <laughs> out there slaying and hopefully getting rabbits out of our yard. I've said that the most awesome thing you can do online. Can you just imagine Mr. Tiger, the last thing he sees, Mr. Tiger, wings outspread, talons out, coming down to grab you. That, that, that would be really cool. I just imagine like a logo, just imagine the logo coming at you. That's what the mice see. Well, that's true. That's, I, I don't know. I'd want to see it with the mice. I I'm wouldn't. perfectly fine with the mice and rats and rabbits here. But still. Okay, so anything you want to say before we sign up? Um, keep watching the owls. Yeah. They're cool. Alright. Alessandra out. Bye. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, I <laughs> <laughs> Reggie got something.